Right, what's going on everybody just quickly before we start the vehicle portion of this mod review i want to go back and touch on a couple weapons here or pretty much all of them uh since the previous mod uh review or the weapons review i have fixed some issues with my mod and just want to clear up some things okay all right so dc 15a i mean gotta have that reload animation gotta start off with that but we're gonna go ahead and see single or semi-automatic okay so on the top right you can see it's semi-automatic i just tried to click as fast as possible so that's the fire rate for the semi-automatic all right so now i'm going to go ahead and do burst all right all right going on the next rifles dc 15 c you look at it again i'll get a good well an okay shot of it <laughs> All right, so this one was fully automatic, and now we're going to do semi. And full. Now we have the DC-15S Carbine. Previously, this was only fully automatic, but I want to, you know, it's not just a simple uh, firing mode switch. When I change it to single, the stock unfolds and the way i'm thinking of this is that you know if you're going to be shooting semi-automatic uh then you want to be a little bit more accurate and want to have that you know you want to have that uh support there so to my knowledge this does not really fix the recoil but it being semi-automatic it definitely makes it a lot easier to handle yep the weapon group there, as you can see, is a lot closer together as compared to full auto. There you go. And again, the stock unfolds whenever I change firing modes. And lastly, for the E5 carbine, changing firing modes, this does have a semi-automatic as well. Let's fire it. And full. Also want to show that they do have phase one armor here. Again, work in progress. You can see a little bit of the details. Last time I saw this armor, it was completely black. Obviously, the shadows aren't working uh, well with this. Uh, it looks kind of weird, but you can definitely see some of the details and how the armor is going to look in this mod. Um, and... Based on the dev showcase and the pictures that they, they showed us and everything, there is actually a difference between the, the Phase 1 armor, from the torso, arms, and legs, to the Phase 2. In swap, they are completely identical. The only thing that is different is obviously the helmets. But there is actually going to be a lore-friendly difference between the Phase 1 and Phase 2 armors. All right, so now for the vehicle portion, the AAT. We've seen this, uh, I don't know if I would call this camouflage, in the game already for the past year, or uh, probably at minimum six months. And that was because of the 501st Auxiliary Mod 4 swap, which added the light AAT, the, the regular AATs, and the King AAT. This was the standard King AAT variant, okay? Uh, so completely new model i've actually compared the two aats um obviously i don't have the swap mod loaded up right now uh but i've compared the sizes of the two ats and this one is actually a little bit smaller i'm going to go ahead and put in a b1 for reference all right so b1 for reference uh this one is a little bit smaller uh what the mod team has told me that this is the accurate scale for the aat uh, I mean, for me, uh, just just seeing, I, I do like seeing more monstrous uh, vehicles. Uh, I think it looks more threatening, especially with the AAT. It looks a little bit more intimidating, the, the larger size. But you know, it's 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 fine. It's just something I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna have to get used to. Uh, so we're gonna get a, a closer look at this. So this is the standard AAT. Okay. And also, if you guys haven't checked out the, um, again, the previous mod uh, mod review, the weapon showcase, and the armor, starting off with the armor, is going to be uh, in the description. So check that out. Now we have the snow variant here. 
again we've seen this color scheme before this camouflage before but we have not seen this model this model is completely completely original pretty basic stuff tan version of the at or pretty much the desert version we have the tropical here okay the menacing urban variant here i really like the way this one looks because it just looks mean all right i'm going to show you guys something really really interesting so all right, so we are going to get inside this AAT. I did change up uh, this droid here. Uh, I mean, honestly, this the, seeing the entire ensemble with the the E5 and you know the the new droid armor, I really really like the way this looks. You're gonna, uh, this is going to be the new face of the CIS, and it's it's a good one. All right, so going to show you something pretty special here. Okay, so we're going to get inside this vehicle. You're going to have to look at the turret ring of this vehicle on the right side okay we're gonna get into the driver we're gonna drive this around a little bit uh the camera there's no interior for the camera here or it's just a window of like just think of it as like when arm and three first came out with all the vehicles pretty much so we're gonna stay in third person for this we're gonna drive around a little bit so this is a tracked vehicle now okay so it is going to drive very differently or not very but it's gonna drive differently compared to the ATs that you've been seeing so far on the channel uh, and here's one example I can do this now the amount of times where I would have to make a 20 point turn to get out of something out of a corner those days are gone and wow the rotation speed on this is dizzying all right so let's get back in line the speed on this is pretty quick we're at 60 kilometers, going to 61, 62, so we're probably up there at the 65, definitely under 70 uh, top speed, but that is very, very quick. We'll get to that. All right, so going to show you guys something really, really nice here, okay? So we're going to get information. We're just going to get in the rear. Think of this as, um, you know, you're heading to the battlefield. You need to search for some type of HVT, a droid commander. Um, and he has been known to, um, he's known to lead from the front. Very difficult to take on. Strategic genius. I'm just painting a picture here, guys. All right. And then you, you, you see an AAT crest the hill. You see AATs crest the hill and out in the back of the formation. I mean, there's something different about that AAT. It looks, it looks pretty important. And you see the commander. He, the vehicle stops. And then the commander pops out of the turret and he's looking around look at how glorious this is you actually can you imagine a t-series droid here a super t-series droid here uh hint hint uh i mean you can see all this stuff and i swear if i'm wrong about about that super uh, uh super uh t-series droid now the tcw mod uh team is gonna have to do it because i already said it anyways um and so i can actually take out my binoculars here Look how freaking cool this is. All right, if I go to first person, there's a little glitch where I can't see my my player model um, or my rifle, so that's why we're sticking it to third person. But look at that here. I'm gonna go back to controlling the camera here. That is amazing. All right, so we are now inside the AT. We got clones in the immediate area. Uh, we have uh, the gunner is already engaging an armored target in the distance or, or something like that. And then the commander comes out or command. I, me thinking as an evil Zeus might put in a B2. Might put a B2 in this thing. All right. We get a B2 out. We turn out. We start laying waste to everybody. I can't see no player module. So we're gonna try this out. Go to single fire. not hit him <laughs> oh i got his leg and i'm out all right but it's the possibilities with this it's just the little details the little things like this that just opens up so many damn doors and and it's it's amazing all right so we're going to keep these guys for reference throughout the uh throughout the mod review this is the only armor really in the game so that's uh they're gonna be everywhere okay so now we have the two turrets the heavy blast repeaters we have the standard one and then we have the armored one okay guess which one is the armored one <laughs> okay so 
uh, we have the textures here, or you could just see the textures. There is a little glitch that I've noticed. I'll point out right now. You can see through it. You can see the droid right here. So again, pre-alpha, very early. Everything is in is work a work in progress. Just a little thing that I wanted to point out. Just you can see through this. So hopefully they the, the mod team does fix this. You I don't know if this is just a the model or the, what they do with the shadows, but or maybe since I'm in virtual reality but the shadows kind of look weird i don't know this this area here looks looks unfinished well everything's unfinished but it just i, I think there's some touching that needs to be done there i'm not but you know who am i to say anyways uh so the we have the turret here uh not much about it other than you know what you're already seeing you got the republic symbol there you got this cool blue texture there uh if anyone wants to translate that then by all means uh we have the i guess this guy doesn't really like what he's looking at here but uh <laughs> Destroyed uh, helmet with the cross on it. Got the tally marks on. Uh, the armored variant of this is exactly the same. The only difference is this shield that does uh, offer a reasonable amount of protection here. All right, so rate of fire: five hundred rounds for each. I guess energy cell. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not, and I'll show you why. All right, so we saw how quickly we can go through 500 rounds, but this time we're gonna get a target. So let's try this out. <laughs> All right, so. With 500 rounds, obviously it's not every day you're going to be coming up with uh, coming up against a perfect formation like that. Uh, but, but the amount of death that we delivered with that small, or I wouldn't really say small, but short burst of fire. And you guys have definitely seen this in episode 3 at the very beginning with the CIS uh, broadside turrets. Looks very cool. Textures on it are amazing, and I do want to point out that you can actually it's it's it actually has an interior in here. I can only zoom in so much, but you can actually see in here. I don't know why I'm so amazed with this, and come out this side where the very large rounds are. Uh, well, it stops here, but I don't know. I, I just think it's really cool that you can actually see inside this barrel. Usually, there's like just black here. I, I don't know. I, I just really like that. But you can see the textures here. Pretty decent looking. You're definitely going to have a, a lot of frames when placing these down. And you can see the rounds there. Little details. I like that. They could have easily just put like a uh, a lid here. But I do like that, that you can actually see the rounds that you're firing. So let's try this out. So this is the first person. A very cool. Very very dangerous looking turret the only thing uh let's just say you're locked to first person the only disadvantage you have here really is is you can't see what's to your right you're definitely gonna have to move the entire turret to see what's to your right for obvious reasons uh but when you turn left i mean you got clear skies and then the third person view this is a very very beefy turret and it does have 360 traverse that's awesome the elevation is up to this point. I wouldn't really say this is even 45 degrees. Maybe it is 45 degrees. I'm, it doesn't look like it to me, though. And then the depression is pretty much the same thing. So, again, elevation is up here. And the depression is down here. So, you can definitely put this on, on some walls and still get some some uh, good depression and, and fire, at, fire at any targets. Cool thing is, before we fire it, well, before we see the explosion, and this is, uh, I believe, how, uh, how large is this? 150 um, millimeter. But look what happens when I do fire it. Look at the round that's right next to the turret. That is really cool. Obviously, some of the sounds are missing, again, pre-alpha. Uh, but I this was confirmed by J, CC or BCJ, uh, that this is the fire rate of this monstrosity. A lot 
lot of clones are gonna die. All right, so we are back. We are going to now go over Republic assets. And yes, I set up a little scene here. I thought it was, I thought it would be nice, and it's probably gonna be the thumbnail. Anyways, so now we have. We'll, we'll start off with the standard one. We have the saber tank. That with the technical term, uh, what is it? Um, TX130. So we have a standard version and the. 501st version over there and I'm almost certain uh, TCW will be adding 2101st first because you know part of Garg part of the, the it's it's where the great great majority of the mod devs come from and so they're going to take care of those units first and then move on to um, other ones all right so saber tank going to do a quick pass through of this looking pretty good I really like the textures on it it looks it looks I don't know like the, the it looks uh like cast iron armor it reminds me of how uh m1a1 shermans looked at the beginning of world war ii just the cast iron uh, uh hulls here uh but this looks awesome i really like the way uh the textures are the model looks fantastic got some uh, nice colors here it looks like i don't know i wouldn't really call this a fuel cell i don't know what that would actually be because why would you put that on the edge there but i like the green touches there like how all this looks. I like the little rivets or actually no indents here. They're probably rivets that are inside <laughs> a little bit deeper, but um, really like the way this looks. Turret looks awesome. In the previous uh, model, it was just one model. Model. It was just a. Um, it wasn't a dual barrel. I'm almost certain it, it, it was not that. Um, and really cool thing about this as well. Let's see the back. All right. I do not know if this is going to be final. I know there will be many variants of this. I know one of the ones that was shown was the um, in the sh showcase. The mod dev um, showcase was a stealth variant. It was all black, had some cool colors on it. Looked pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Um, we have the windows here, so you can actually see the interior. And this is the actual interior. Of, you know, this is what you're going to be seeing when you are uh, driving this. Okay, so. Let's take a quick look at this now. Looking very nice. You can see more. I don't know what this is. Someone in chat, let me know. Or yeah, in the comment section, let me know what this is. Um, you have the lever there. Very cool lever. Very cool buttons. It's attention to detail. Always attention to detail. I really like that. The seats look cool. Wish there was more buttons here other than this. You think there would be more buttons here? This is another another lever screens here i don't know if these screens are actually going to be used in game but let's go ahead and get in it all right uh i probably shouldn't have been a droid because i can't see my body but it's not it, what's the importance of looking at hands right now so just another view of the interior okay now we're going to go to the commander seat which is yep right here okay and now the gunner seat oh Where's this firing? Oh, okay, okay. So again, very early build. Uh, this is just an M200 LMG 6.5 millimeter that's firing in between the two windows there. So okay, we can't really we can't fire the turret yet, and it seems like we cannot fire the side guns either. And now the 501st variant. It is the exact same armor, uh, just you know different color scheme here. I really like the blue. Really like that blue here. Uh, the guns look pretty metallic. Again, I don't know if they finished with this. In my opinion, they look pretty metallic. Um, but yeah. All right, so now we are going to be going through the speeders. Okay, so we have one here. This is the standard speeder. Okay, uh, there are three other variants. It's the 501st, 212th, and 101st. We're going to just take a quick look at this. And you have the metallic blasters here. Yeah, I'm not doesn't look too finished. Um, I would like to see that a little bit rougher, maybe more textures on it. Uh, it just looks too chrome. That def definitely does not look finished. Uh, again, work in progress. Seat also chrome. There's a lot of chrome here. <laughs> and as aforementioned, you have the other two or three variants: the 101st, 212th, and 501st. I'm sure the mod team will include other units. So, uh, it still has the sounds. This hasn't been updated. I was really hoping I would hear the sweet, sweet lat sounds. It really, when I saw that footage, it really reminded me of 
auto hover on. I'm just, you know what? Fuck, you guys don't need to hear me talk. You just need to watch. Gear up. Obviously, this is not representative or representative of how the lats are going to fly because this is just a pretty much a little bird. And now ramp open. Gear down. It looks so fragile. This lat looks so fragile like this. Press G. Pressing G. Oh, okay. So I guess that's a smoother way. Alright, uh, the minigun, I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, and, okay, that's it. Alright. So, now let's just look, look at the model. We'll, we'll look at the model on the ground. This is just so we can see the ramp opening. Alright, see if I can land this real quick. So, uh, this was pretty much what I saw when I was doing my teasers when I was recording it. So we're gonna start in, start in the front, just get some you know decent shots of it. Not a lot of moving, just so you guys can soak it in. Oh, you can see the little squares there, and looks good. This looks a lot flatter than I remember. This is uh, definitely something with our models. I don't remember the lats being this, you know, flat-faced. You can walk on the inside, too. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can open up the ramp here as well. All right, the ball turret's looking pretty good. Got the rockets under here. I know you, you cannot go in. Well, this was never manned. This was always from the, the pilots. Pretty good. Yeah, again, you saw a little sneak peek of this one when I posted those trailers. You got racks here, for like equipment. Well, actually, for for your hands, but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to reach those, so we'll still be holding air. That's for poly count, and yes, uh, a bit flatter. Ah, okay, that's for poly count. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, makes total sense. You got the. <clears throat> door system here. It's so pretty good. I like the colors. It actually looks awesome. So if you crouch, oh, that is so cool. So if uh, I guess, well, this is the the gear. So you, the pilots can't. Wait, can the pilots? Uh, please don't get in this. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, but it's pretty good. Good textures all around. Spawn in the oh. Can they even do that? Nope! Nope, they cannot. Definitely cannot. Alright, so now Alright, so now we are looking at what is at the moment the crown jewel of this pre-alpha, the UT80. We've seen this in that one scene on uh, I believe the planet was Mangito, Mangito, something like that. Um, there was a, a winter planet. And it, <clears throat> there was a tri droid. I think that that's what it's called. Uh, the very tall spider droid uh, launched uh, a blast around at the bottom here of the UTAT, lifting it up in the air in episode three. This thing is absolutely massive. We're gonna get a B1 for reference. Get him out of the formation. And B1 for reference. You got you, you guys have seen this in the uh, teaser trailers, or at least some of you have. And this thing is absolutely massive. Again, work in progress. They don't have the seats down yet for the crew compartment. Why would it say the crew? But the, um, the cockpit of this, uh, the, just a driver and commander here. They're just standing up. And you, can, you can see his head sticking out there. Uh, but we have 320 millimeter um, guns here. Each of them are controlled by an individual person. So one here, here, and here with various different turrets here i'm actually not too sure if you can control these i know at the moment i'm pretty sure you cannot this is just for show but they will be adding you know all these turrets and probably probably a bit more down the line again this is a not not a finished product work in progress
All right, so the interior is outstanding. Uh, for some reason, I can't turn my camera, so hopefully we get to, we get a good view of this. I know I have other footage that I'll be splashing in here of you know of the crew compartment and everything. So yeah, this is what you're seeing. I just put a bunch of VR guys in here. I'll probably be splashing this with uh, with other footage of me actually moving around. Uh, get the gunner seat. So in the gunner seat, I can actually move, and the. You see, you have seats there. That's probably for the guns at the top that I that I mentioned, but you cannot use those yet. You have four seats over there, uh, left cannon operator. So you do have a conference table there. I can go back to the passenger seat and see it on the left side of your screen. And I'll, again, splashing footage. Um, <clears throat> there's a conference table there. It'd be really neat if they have seats that are that people stand in. Like they, they, they just stand and they, they treat like, I guess, that flat area there or just that, that space between the window and the conference table as a seat. And when someone occupies it, it looks like they're having like a, some type of meeting or conversation inside the UTAT instead of everyone just be, uh, in, be sitting down. So we're going to have the gunner seat again, looking around here. And the commander seat is at the front. Yeah. And the commander actually does have access to, so um, the camera's inside. Actually, I can get the camera in here. So it's going to be on the right side of your screen. There's going to be a gun there. I'm going to have to clip the camera inside. So at the bottom of your screen, you'll see me moving this. So I can move this turret here as the commander. And it's the same as um, the Republic Heavy Blaster or Repeater. <laughs> So now we are on the right gunner seat. Looking around, interior looks amazing. One of our devs, Mav, created this from scratch. All right, so that's it for the vehicle portion of the Clone Wars mod. Next up is going to be the maps. We have two, all right? We'll be covering those next time. Uh, make sure you watch the previous review, which was uh, based mainly around the weapons here. And also the armor, like you see in front of you with the formation of B1s. Um, make sure you subscribe and hit the damn bell notification. I, I've probably said this less than five times in my entire entire career on YouTube. I've told you guys less than ten times for sure to hit that bell notification. Do it. All right? Do it. Okay? Uh, next, yeah, like I said, map review. So stay tuned for that. Um, make sure you follow me on Twitch. The link is going to be down um, in the description. I stream almost every single day. And I, we, I will be streaming more of this content um, very soon. So, again, thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with me here today. I will see you all next time. And goodbye.